Hello everyone. Welcome to Paper Crafting Playdate. My name is Robin Armbrecht with Really Robin Stamps. And thank you so much for joining me and spending a little time with me in my craft room today. So in real time, today is um, July 16th, 2021. But whether you're getting to see this live today on Facebook or if you are watching later on YouTube, I am so thankful that you are here and you are willing to play with some paper with me. So we're going to do some math today. Just kidding. We don't we don't do we don't do math really or I don't do math in the craft room. <laughs> but I do have a fun project for you that's a 4 in 1 card template and I think you're going to love it. It's super easy. So let me show you what we have on the stamp table. Right. Hello, Lynn. How are you doing today? Happy to see you. Okay. I talked to my, uh, you know, phone stand today and I told it it was not going to have any problems for me today. So hopefully that's true. All right, that looks pretty good. So look at these great colors that we're going to use um, to make our little project. All right, I'm gonna pull you up on Facebook so I can see the comments. Hello, Lisa. How are you doing, Lisa? Miss seeing you. Okay, hi, Wanda. All right, the gang's all here. Let's get started. So, I told you we we're going to do some craft room math today. Um, I did have to Google the term um, quadrilateral and 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 figure out what that meant, but um, this is pretty easy. So this is a card template that's going to make four cards. Um, from the supplies that you see here. So basically you need a six by six sheet of designer series paper. You need a half sheet of cardstock that has a coordination with the designer series paper. You need one sheet of eight and a half by 11 basic white. And then you need two pieces of um, another coordinating cardstock that's going to be the card basis. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this up while you guys are, well, while you guys are watching, I guess, and I'm doing, doing the cutting. But anyway, Lisa is, oh good, vacation next week. That's awesome. We're going to go on a little vacation next week too. So I'm going to score these at four and a quarter and then turn them and cut them in half. These are going to be the card bases. What else is everyone up to today? Leave me a comment. Tell me what, what you're up to today or this weekend. All right, so we've got four Knight of Navy card bases. So now I'm gonna make some trimmed card fronts. So I'm going to cut at four inches. I'm going to go ahead and cut both of these. And then we'll cut these at five and a quarter inch this way. So these are just going to layer really nicely on top of the card base. So most of my projects this month during July are kind of focusing on things that you can do with designer series paper because it's on sale this month for 15% off. So that is a good deal. And so I'm kind of just thinking about projects that you can use with designer series paper. All right, so this one, this is a half sheet. We're gonna cut it into fourths. So the first cut is four and a quarter, and then the second cut is at two and three fourths. And so we've got four 
of this size. All right, so we've got four of everything. We've got four card bases, four card fronts, um, layered card fronts, and then we've got four of these pieces. So we're all set to put this super easy um, card together. So this is why I was talking about math. Um, so we're gonna cut this into four pieces, but we're not gonna do it into squares or straight triangles. We're gonna kind of shift it a little bit um, and do kind of an offset diagonal cut. And what that's gonna give you is um, quadrilateral shapes, okay? So you probably won't be able to see this really well, but what I'm gonna do is just measure one inch from the corners going in the same direction so that I have one little tick mark on each side at one inches from the corner like that. So we've got here, here, here. All right. So I'm going to connect these two and I'm going to connect these two. Again, you're not really going to be able to see this because this pattern paper has um, a lot of design on it, but maybe you might be able to. Oh, you might be able to see that. Okay. And then we're going to go this one to this one. Like that. So each side just has one cut in it. All right. And we're going to have like a corner in each of these little shapes. So far, so good. All right. So then we're going to cut this out. Because I drew the line on there, that makes it really easy um, to cut on. But I've been making these cards and I haven't been drawing the lines on. I've just been kind of eyeballing it. And the way that you can eyeball it is to just position your um, six by six piece of paper on the cutting line, just like you, you would be cutting it in half, and then just give it a little shift counterclockwise, and then you've got it you know, pretty much at one inch. So you, you start here, and then if you just give it a little shift, it kind of gets you where you're going. So you don't have to be precisely accurate to make these cards. You can kind of just eyeball it and they, you know, they all turn out fine. But I was giving you the inch measurement so that the first time you do it, you can really just kind of see how it goes together. All right, so I cut like that. And now I'm going to shift it to the other line. And again, if you were eyeballing it, you would just put it on the diagonal exactly, and then give it a counterclockwise little twist there so that you've got about an inch away from each corner. Does that make sense? All right, so we'll cut that. So now what we have, let me move the paper cutter. So now we have four pieces like this. And it's just a very interesting shape. Um, and you'll see when we put it on the cards, it looks really cool. So I'm gonna erase my pencil mark. Like that. So on the, um, on the blog post that goes along with this um, project today, it will have this PDF that has this picture. So you'll be able to um, use it when you're going to make your own cards, okay? All right, so here's how these go together. So let's bring in our card fronts here. And what you're gonna do, let's see, this is how they came together. What you're gonna do is you're gonna just look for the corner on each piece, that little corner, and you're gonna put that in the top left, like that. I've got a little pencil mark here, let me erase that. Like that, isn't that cool? It's kind of just a nice little um, interesting way to cut the paper and it gives it just a nice little look, okay? But we're not done yet. Let's go ahead and glue these on. If you're thinking that looks kind of strange, that's okay. 
it's gonna get better. So remember these white pieces were four by five and a fourth. So they're gonna have a little bit of border when I put them, The there will be a border when I add them to the car front. So that will look good. So this paper that I'm using today is one of the pieces from the Sweet Symmetry pack of Designer Series paper that I I really am enjoying it way more than I th thought I would. Um, it's just very sweet and I love this piece. Let's see, here it is. So here are the the colors that are in this paper, really pretty bumblebee, calypso coral, flirty flamingo, just jade, and night of navy. So just really nice, like, um, except for the night of navy, they're really like um, bright medium colors. And so one side is um, kind of a simpler pattern, and then the other side has more design to it. So instead of being 1150, um, the nine packs of designer series paper are $9.78 um, this month, so that is a good, good deal. Okay, so what we're going to do to make this a little more interesting is we're going to bring in our these pieces of our coordinating color, and we're going to fill in this part right here with some cardstock. And what we can do, and why I made these a little bit bigger, is so you'd have room to kind of play with it, you're going to just line it up on that corner so that this makes a continual diagonal line of, across the front of the card like that. But before we glue it down, I wanted to use an embossing folder because that'll just kind of create a little more interest on the card front because these are pretty simple. So let's bring in Mrs. Cut Boss. She hasn't been on camera recently. We can do two at a time. And I chose this folder called Bark, and it just makes a really nice, you know, textured pattern. It doesn't have to be used with nature elements. So because this is a 3D folder, I'm using the, this um, plate number four. Okay, so there's the first two. And then we'll use do the other two. Okay. Okay, so watch how easy this is. So what you're gonna do to add this step is to just add your adhesive uh, to the front where that piece is gonna go. I'll do them all at the same time. And then you're going to, you can use either side of this. Look how pretty that is. They both look awesome. So you're gonna lay that right, butt it right up against that cardstock and then just make a continual diagonal like that. This is so easy and super fun. Okay, so then once you've got that on there, all you have to do is trim off the extra. Now it might seem like there's a lot of waste here, and I guess technically there is, but these little embossed pieces are, are very, you know, interesting. You can definitely use them um, on other projects. But so this piece needs to be at least two, two and three fourths inches wide so that it covers this corner. It could be a little shorter. You could do it probably at three and a half inches 
um, instead of four and a quarter, but it was just really easy to cut that piece into eighths. So that's kind of why I picked this size. And then you've also got choices. You could have put this, you know, on a different corner instead of making that straight diagonal line. So look how cool that looks. It's just a really interesting now card front made very easily. Hello, Miss Cindy. You're finishing your cards. <laughs> oh, Cindy, Cindy. Cindy came to my house last night. We almost had to have a sleepover. Um, it was my, um, my team meeting for the Butterfly Friends, and I planned make and takes as I usually do, um, but my make and takes were highly intensive, and... Um, I worked, I worked everybody so hard. I felt very sorry for them. Not really, but I did. They were, they were, they had to use a lot of attention and um, stamina to get through all my projects. So Cindy was smart and she took some of hers home <laughs> to assemble. Okay, so I still don't have this stamp set. I'm kind of saving up for it. The one that actually coordinates with this paper. Um, but I'm finding all kinds of other stamp sets that that really go with it so well. And I know a lot of you have this Lovely You stamp set that came out last summer. And it's got all these fun little shapes. And look at how they coordinate with the little flowers and leaves that are on this paper. I just think that is so cool. So I loved these greetings. So I thought I would bring in this stamp set um, to just finish these cards off. So the other thing that just makes, I think these card fronts really interesting is that, you know, not only do you have this kind of chunky, you know, angle or in this piece of cardstock, but you get to put your greeting on a diagonal. So let's add some greetings. And I'm gonna stamp in navy because my card base is gonna be navy. And we'll just do, we'll do four different ones. So I'm sure you guys are already thinking of this too. This is a great way to make a little gift set of cards. So we're actually gonna package this up when we get them all assembled. <laughs> no Lynn, there was no place, there was no place for wine. Everybody had to focus way, way too much on the projects. And let's do a just because. Well, it was exciting because, and this is why I went a little crazy with the projects, because we, you know, got to pre-order um, from the new mini catalog and then we got to earn celebration with our order for being you know a demonstrator so um I bought a few things in here and then I you know I had to make the projects and I I just was so excited about everything that I got I kind of made them I just kind of went a little nuts but that's okay I think they're okay about it nobody cried so that's good all right, I didn't know why I put this away. So I'm gonna use this flower because this one matches the paper, I think, really well. And I'm gonna bring in markers because I want this image to be um, two different colors. And I always forget how much I love to use my markers to ink up um, a stamp image. So um, you just use the brush tip of your marker and you just add your ink exactly where you want it. Like that. And then right before you stamp it, you just kind of, you kind of huff on it a little bit. Isn't that cute? It gives a little bit of a lighter ink um, impression than 
regular ink pads do, but it's there's something about it so satisfying to be able to um, get multiple colors on one image as you stamp it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this flower on all of these. What do you think? Pretty cute, right? I'd like to get that card in the mail. Okay, so let's put our markers away and then we'll put these on our card bases. And then we're almost done, but look, there's new flirty flamingo ribbon. That's what color this is, and it's got a little sparkle in it. So we're gonna add that to our the front of the card. So if you've been stamping with me for a while and watching my videos, where is the little pop of embellishment supposed to go on this card? Where's the spot where the embellishment is supposed to go? Leave me a comment. See if I've if I've taught you anything, right? Where's that embellishment supposed to go on this card? Yes, Lynn. crazy with the glue there. So Lynn said where they all meet and that's exactly right. So whenever you're kind of exactly the intersection of all the papers, Cindy, good job. So where these two pieces meet the white piece right here, this corner, that's where your little um, piece of embellishment is going to go. You can put anything there. You can put, um, we're going to put ribbon on these cards, but you can put a little die cut. You can put something little punched there. You can put um, some kind of um, little dot or a rhinestone or something like that. Phew, I'm so glad you guys got that right. I'm just kidding. I know. <laughs> you guys all know what you're doing. Okay, so now they're mounted on the blue. Isn't that so pretty? And so we're just gonna make some little bows to put on the front. So, um, because I'm gonna think about these as a gift set, when um, I put the bows on, then we're gonna add them to one of our little acetate card boxes to make a little gift out of them. This ribbon is really fun. It's got like gold, um, gold thread in it, so it's very shimmery. Okay, there we go. We'll use a glue dot to attach that. This one is really big. And then we'll put that right there. Well, that is a wonky looking bow, isn't it? Let's see if I can just shorten those a little bit and not lose my Oh, 
Okay, so you see how this is coming together. So I'm calling this the four in one quadrilateral card. I did have to look that up to make sure I knew what I was talking about. And it's really an irregular quadrilateral because none of the sides are the same um, length or the angles inside, they're all different as well. All right, there's our little bows. So that's one kind of embellishment you can put on there. Isn't that fun? So now, of course, we'd stamp a little something on our envelopes, but let's go ahead and make, put them into one of the little gift boxes. So these are in the main catalog and they're called, they're called acetate card boxes. And this picture, you can barely even see that it's there, but it's this picture right here. And what it looks like is um, this, it comes flat. When you get them, you get a pack of 10 for $7. And you just have to open it up and then fold on the score lines and it pops into a little narrow box like this. So it makes it very easy to slide some cards into. So I'm gonna close the bottom. cards in. What I like about these being clear is that, you know, you can just kind of give it exactly like this and your beautiful um, card work on the, you know, their artwork on the ca card is going to be what everybody sees. So that's kind of cool. So that there's four cards and four envelopes in there and that fits really nicely. Um, I've put five in here before because I kind of like that number as well and that works really just perfectly. So I thought um, if you wanted to add a little something, let's just add a tag and we'll put, let's choose a different flower. We'll use this little guy, so cute. So these little boxes make it pretty inexpensive to you know make make up little gifts. Of course, if you um, make up cards and you just want to wrap some ribbon around them, that looks really cute too. So we'll put those little flowers there, and then let's use the word heartfelt. And then we'll just wrap this around. I'm thinking about trying this design. I haven't um, made it with as many pa um, kinds of paper as maybe I normally do. So it's been a very busy week. But I'm thinking about trying it with um, some Christmas paper because I think it'd make a really simple um, Christmas card layout to just get some pretty paper um, and let that paper kind of do all the work. So here is our finished little gift set with our four cards with our quadrilateral four in one. That's a mouthful. All right, so 
I wanted to give you also a sneak peek. So we're going to bring in some fall. I'll set this to the side for a moment. Look at these colors. Does that scream fall to you? Does that make you want to put on a sweater and pick a pumpkin and drink some hot cider? <laughs> I'm not really ready for fall. I can tell you, um, I was looking at, you know, trying to figure out what I was going to get from this book, at least right now. And I just could not do Christmas yet. I, I just couldn't. There's so many good things in the annual catalog right now that I have not even scratched the surface of. So, um, so yeah, I bought some fall things and that's what I'm going to show you right now. You're not going to believe it. All right. So here is what I bought. I bought this stamp set called Gorgeous Leaves because it's, um, it's just absolutely my style. I love these little backgrounds and I love that kind of, um, I don't know what you would call that style necessarily. It kind of looks like splatter, like splattered, you know, paint or some kind of, you know, a little bit sloppy impression. So I got the leaves and then I got the dies that go with it. They're called intricate leaves. This is bundled together. It's $44 in the new book. And again, that new catalog is going to start August 3rd, so that's exciting. So look at you can cut out these leaves, and then you've got miniatures of those leaves, and then you've got larger detailed um, images of the leaves, and then this beautiful little branch. So I anticipate some fun projects. The other thing that I purchased, there's going to be six by six craft paper which is kind of fun so that is just this kind of box like paper and then these are called craft gift boxes and so I want to make one more set of cards with you using this new box and this new paper and so what I thought I'd do is I would just create my own um, background paper on this guy. So let me, I'm going to pull open up all these ink pads. So we've got soft suede, pumpkin pie, mossy meadow, rich razzleberry, Cajun Craze, and Sahara Sand. And then I went ahead and mounted all of these blocks, or, or I'm sorry, every single one of these images. So I'm gonna make a background using all of them. So let me just put these on their right color so I don't mess up. And we'll bring in some scratch paper. There's that leaf and that leaf, and we need the background stamp. There it is. All right, so I gotta say, this little tree bark wood grained um, is probably my favorite. So we're gonna start with that because <clears throat> when you make a background, so we're just gonna like basically be creating our own designer series paper right now. And when you do that, you wanna start with, it's kinda of like doing a collage. Um, you're gonna put a lot of images together. You wanna to start with like the, one of the bigger images or one of the images that's gonna just kind of be a lighter color and make the background, which is the, in the case for this one. So I'm gonna stamp this twice each time. And this is Sahara Sand. And I'm just gonna kinda of layer a little background and so I'm gonna get a lighter value and a darker value of it at the same time, like that. All right, so I'm just gonna start with that. And then I'm gonna bring in the largest leaf and I'm gonna stamp them all in the same direction. 
and make a pattern with them. Now, when you're starting to make a pattern with an image, you stamp it twice, and then wherever there's gonna be a triangle, that's where you put the next one, right? So between here and here, the next one's gonna be here. Between these two, the next one's gonna be there. Between these two, do you see what I'm doing? And then you always wanna go off the side um, so that it looks like a continual pattern. So I'm gonna do that leaf in that direction. And then I'm gonna bring this leaf in and I'm gonna do that one in the opposite direction. And I'm just gonna fill in the spaces now that it's there's like little holes there, right? And then I'm gonna bring in the third leaf, which is pumpkin pie. And I'm gonna go all kind of up and down with that one. Now some of these images are starting to overlap and that's okay, it still looks like it's a continuous kind of background. So we need just a little bit on that edge and a little bit on that edge. All right, so let's move these out of the way. I've used those leaves. So now we're just kind of gonna finish up with the rest of these images and just kind of make it look um, very collaged, I guess. So I love this splatter image. It's so pretty. It just makes all these different um, values of a splatter. So some of them are darker, some of them are lighter. So we're just going to fill in some of these holes and it's just going to be really light on the background. Give it a little bit of a splatter look like that. Hello, Carol. How are you today? Now I'm going to take these tiny little leaves and wherever there's a little opening, I'm going to stamp those leaves. You can do this technique for making a background with just about any stamp set. You just have to, you know, turn your images and make them go off the side of the page and then just, just kind of layer them from largest image to smaller, you know, smaller image. So now we've got those little leaves on there. And then the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this, um, this little splatter, and I'm really just gonna go around the edges. I'm gonna stamp it multiple times, and then you can even slide it like this, and you're going to get just kind of a nice little, it's almost like using a sponge um, on the side just kind of it's, it's gonna darken I think you can see that see how this side is darker than that one it's just gonna make it look kind of vintage kind of aged so we'll have the splatters and then because remember how I'm going to cut this each card is going to have one of these edges in it so it's gonna look really pretty all right, so there is our finished stamping our own background paper. So let's go ahead and cut this. So this time I'm not gonna measure, so just you can see my um, eyeball method. So we're looking at a space that's one inch from each side, right? So we're just gonna start with your paper diagonal and then you're going to just turn it slightly counterclockwise. And then you've got about one inch there and one inch down there, okay? Then you're gonna line it up the other way on the diagonal like that. And then you're going to turn it counterclockwise and cut it like that. So we've got those four pieces and I went ahead and I made four different colors of a card base. So let's speed this up here and I'll put these all together. What do you think of this new stamp set with leaves? All right, so 
Remember that you look for the small little um, corner that's got a right angle and that's the one you're going to put in the top left corner like that. Well, hello, Rebecca. What are you up to today? Okay, see how that works? And then I've already used um, the embossing folder to do my soft suede piece is what I picked for my accent. And the embossing folder that I used is called Timber. And it's a brand new um, embossing folder from the, the new July to December mini catalog that's going to start August 3rd. It's so lovely. It's really um, a small kind of um, bark look. I don't know if that's gonna pick it up very well, but it's, it's quite beautiful. So let me put this on here. that remember you're just going to make that a continuous line that's where you're lining this up right there these are quite the contrast to the first set right <laughs> they're very rich and dark and okay Rebecca's moving furniture around. Oof. Watch your back, right? I'm always, um, I always think I can do a little bit more than I should or can do. Or I just get impatient and I don't wait for somebody to help me and I do it myself, right? <laughs> gotta have it Cindy are you talking about the um the leaf bundle or are you talking about the embossing folder okay so let's put one of each of these on our cards our card bases and since I used all the colors to create that background it's going to look beautiful on all these different card bases. So this is Rich Razzleberry, and this is Cajun Craze. And Mossy Meadow. And Pumpkin Pie. like that so yeah if you don't have designer series paper you can still do this you just make your own designer series paper so let's make these um, some birthday cards so I'm gonna bring in the biggest wish stamp set and we're going to stamp birthday <clears throat> in the color of the card base so since this is mossy meadow I'll stamp birthday in mossy metal and then this one's Cajun craze so we'll do that one like that I got a lot of open ink pads right now I feel like I feel like a ticking time bomb on the on the stamp table here and pumpkin. All right, so we've got birthday in our colors. And now we'll use the dark early espresso and we'll put happy on all of these.
simple, right? I know I'm living on the edge. <laughs> living on the edge here. It could go, it could turn at any moment. <clears throat> Okay, so I took some of the dies and I already cut them out because um, that's going to be our little focal point on these cards. And you can put the same color as your card base, obviously, or you could switch it up and use a, you, you know, put a different color on there. I'm just going to keep it simple and I'm going to do the same, the same color leaf as my card base. So we'll just put that right there. I'm going to let it hang off just a little bit. Maybe. Stay. And we'll do this one. Like that. Thank you, Lynn. I appreciate that. This is a really fun project and you can you can just whip this up so quickly. All right, we're going to let those dry. And I'm going to use these so I cut out the the leaves um, with the bigger dies and we're going to put those on our box. So let's make some room here. Just to kind of keep with our little theme going, I'm going to do just a little bit of stamping on here and then let's do some of this lovely little splotches on there and where's my little there it is Give it a little. Bet you didn't know you could slide your background stamps, huh? Just gives it a nice little little effect. Kind of gives it just a little rustic look. Okay, let's put this together. So I'm just going to fold. This is great. It comes with these great little um, 3M adhesive tabs on there. This is a food safe container, so you can put you can put cookies in here or. Um, what else? I haven't even started dreaming about all the things you could put in here, but it's a great size. Not only is it going to fit these cards, but it's going to, it could fit like four by six cards in it as well. A little bit bigger. Um, could be like a little mini album or something. I don't know. I see a lot of potential with this. Rebecca, these are your colors. This, pro this little fall project, those are your, your colors, aren't they? Okay, so I'm gonna do the bottom first, and you just take the adhesive off the tabs, and you just stick that together like that. Like that, and then the, the top of the box just has two tabs. Let's take our little cards and we'll stick them in there. Cute. Close that up. And then these guys will pop up on the front just to give it a little something special. So you can orient this however you want to, you know, do it. That window is so beautiful. And we'll just give it a little, some little leaves. Just like that. And there you go. So that is a new gift box, the new craft gift box coming soon to a catalog near you with our four-in-one quadrangle pattern. 
what do you guys think? You know what? I totally forgot to show you. Here's our first one. I made another set with another piece um, of this sweet symmetry paper, and I wanted to show you specifically um, that you could, you can very, very much use designer series paper that has um, a directionality or you know stripes to it and all you have to do is just adjust where you put um which corner you're going to put this in okay so I kind of had you orient all your paper to this top left corner but you most certainly can you know turn it around and obviously you can turn this card and stamp your greetings in different you know directions and make this work however you want so when I use the piece that has um a, this kind of one-way pattern. Um, there were two cards that, you know, made how I how I told you to make them by putting it in the top left corner. And then there were two cards that really went in the bottom corner, um, but the direction is this way, so I just turned the card and made it go this way. And I think that looks just as cute too, right? So there's another one with that sweet symmetry and then I used the hand penned um, designer series paper because that is also on sale and my, probably my favorite paper right now. And I did all these this way. I just flipped it upside down. So instead of putting it up here um, the way that I cut it, I actually flipped this one. So when I cut this six by six piece, um, I turned it over and cut it. And so it gave me then the corners were in a different location. So these are all on the bottom now, and that is really fun too, right? So you can you can orient your um, your card base either direction. All right, do you guys have a favorite? If you've got a favorite um, set of cards, let me know. And then I hope you give this a try. And um, I would love to see your creations. And then think about how easy this would be to give as a gift to somebody. So um, I appreciate you watching today. Um, I appreciate all the time that you spend with me. It's just precious. Um, so I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.